Coco Golf versus Jessica Pagula is a fourth match of the WTA Finals for 2024. Both players have had very impressive seasons to make the final. Coco Golf enters the tournament as the number three in the world, qualifying for a yet another WTA Finals campaign. Last year, she did really well making the semifinals in Cancun, eventually losing to Pagula in that semifinal. But this year's been great. 50 wins, 16 losses on the year, including two titles, one of those titles being in Beijing a couple of weeks ago. Her best win has been against Zhang, and that was actually on the clay courts of Rome in the quarterfinal stage there. Her worst loss, whoever, was against Sinia Koba in Doha, which was actually a pretty massive upset early on in that 1000 tournament to start the season. Her form, however, has been really, really good, having won Beijing and then doing really well in Wuhan, only losing to Sabalenka in the last couple of events. Jessica Pagula enters the tournament as the number six in the world and is playing this tournament again, having made the final last year, losing to Sviantec after really, really impressing in the group stage and the semifinals of that event. Her win-loss record this year is 39 wins and 14 losses. It's pretty impressive considering she didn't play for a lot of the start of the season. Two titles are also included in that, including the 1000 event in Canada, where she went back to back. Her best win is against Igor Fiontek. That was at the US Open only a couple of months ago. Her worst loss though was against Krunic on the grass courts of Den Bosch, where she lost a three set epic. But maybe we can give her a little bit of a pass on that because she hadn't played for a couple of months before that tournament. Her form though, since the US Open final hasn't been great, but of course during that US Open swing, she did play amazing. So it will be really interesting to see how she does against the rest of her group because she does like to play those big plays and she does get up when she plays those big players. These two have played five times before with Pagula leading 4-1 in the head-to-head, -head, including a match this year on the grass courts where Pagula got a straight sets win. Very close straight sets, but still straight sets. In fact, Pagula's won the last couple of matches they've played over the last 12 months. So Goff's really got to be impressive and aggressive if she's going to finally break that streak. Pagula's going to win this one to make Goff move around like she's been doing. I played doubles with Goff so much over the time. She knows her game inside and out. And we've seen that through the head-to-head -head as well. She's been able to exploit that, especially this time last year at the WTA Finals. She kind of destroyed her. So if Pagula's going to win this one, she's going to make Goff move around and frustrate Goff like she has in their last few matches. If Goff's going to win this one, it's all about the serve. She needs to eliminate the double faults or at least hit a handful of them at most. Because if she's given away free points to Pagula, it's only going to dent her confidence and improve Pagula's confidence, which she already has enough of because she's won so many matches against Goff in the past. So Goff's going to eliminate the double faults and use that forehand to be aggressive. Really fun matchup, of course, that being the doubles pair. I don't know if they play much doubles anymore, but having that connection, playing the first match of the WTA Finals, i got to go with Pagula, though, in three sets. I reckon she just sneaks Goff out of the end. I don't know if Goff's consistency lately has been enough to get Pagula, especially in their matchups lately, against Pagula. I'm going to get Pagula in three sets, but let me know down in the comments below who's winning this match.